Well, good morning. The new state-of-the-art cancer center at the University of New Mexico will open to the public. This is a big deal here locally. Joining us this morning from the center is Dr. Richard Lauer. He's the chief medical officer. Good morning, doctor. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. So tell me about what's going to happen today. Today we start seeing patients. This process has been going on for over 10 years, getting ready for this day, and we're all very excited. So what are some of the new technologies that are going to make a big difference here? Well, we currently have over 300 clinical trials that use investigational techniques to take care of cancer patients. But also this will bring uh, new imaging technologies. We have a state-of-the-art PET scanner in this facility. And also uh, radiation equipment. We have new uh, technologies for radiation, including a brain lab and tomotherapy, which we're very excited about. Are these some of, some of these technologies first for New Mexico? Absolutely. We will bring new technologies that are nowhere else in the state. And any last-minute touches that really need to be done before everybody comes in today? Well, we're getting ready. I think we're ready. We've been working on this for some time now. How many folks do you plan on treating there? About, well, today we expect to treat around 300, but in the future, uh, we currently are seeing about 400 patients a day, and we expect that to grow to about 800 patients a day as the facility comes online. Now, how does somebody get access to the UNM Cancer Center? Sometimes that's a big question. We have all these resources, but is everybody going to have access? Absolutely. Uh, you can access this through your physician. You can go online to access it. You can call us directly. We're open to everybody. Now, when you, um, when you open this center, are there going to be a lot of talented people that have been brought in from other states as well? Absolutely. People, the doctors here come from all over the countries, from institutions such as Harvard and Stanford and Yale. And uh, we have lots of people who are very excited to be here and uh, feel that we're building something special. Now that you have the center, are there treatments that are now available to New Mexicans that maybe weren't available before? Yes, we have new technologies and uh, new drugs that have come online with the new center. Okay. Well, I want to thank you so much. We will definitely be there and have coverage throughout our newscast today. Congratulations. Thank you so much.